This time, I'm going to start with a number in our floating point format, and I'm going to convert it back to a decimal number. So the first step is to write out all the bits in their corresponding fields. So I start with a B, which is 1, 0, 1, 1. Next is E, 1, 1, 0. And then 7. And then zeros. So I have no more bits of precision here. I can notice that my number is negative. And I have an exponent that is less than, that will be less than 1 after I've added my bias. This should give me 127 minus 3, which is 124. So I will have 124 minus 127 for my exponent, which is negative 3. And my mantissa. So I will get 1.111 times 2 to the negative third. I'd like to convert this back to regular binary because I know how to convert that back to a decimal number. So I will move my binary point three places to the left. So 1, 2, 3. You can see 1, 2, 3. You can look at this. This is the 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, 1 thirty second, and 1 sixty fourth positions. So I could add all of those terms up. Or I can try using our division method to convert this back to decimal. I will start with this 1 and divide by 2, which will give me 0.5. Move in this 1. And divide this by 2. Give me 0.75. Pull down this 1. Divide by 2. Half of 0.75 is 0.375. Half of 1 is 0.5. Add those together, and I will get 0.875. Now I'll pull down this 1. Divide this by 2. Now my division is going to get harder. Point no. So I get 0.9375. And I will bring down a first zero. Divide this by 2. This gives me 0.46. Eight seven five. I will bring over this zero and do one more round of division, which gets me zero point two three four three seven five. So this number includes a 1 eighth, so it is larger than 0 0.125, but it does not include any 1 fourths or 1 halves, so it's slightly less than 0.25. So this is the decimal equivalent of this floating point number.